So you know what Hillary said. You know she said this, right? You know she said... I'm not making any predictions, but I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic <laughs> primary and are grooming her to be the third-party candidate. Oh. She's the favorite of the Russians. She's a favorite of the Russians. What does that mean? That mean does that mean that Tulsi trains bears to ride bicycles? Is that what that means? <laughs> Hillary Clinton, she broke the glass ceiling and fucking and knocked her head off when she did it. Um, here we go. So now, so we know she said it. So now I'm watching CBS at the Sunday show, and they bring on a new they bring on a new hire. They got a new hire at CBS. Jamal right? Simmons is the host of The Remedy on Hill TV, a Democratic strategist, and now congratulations, a new CBS News political contributor. Thank you. Well, and I'm thinking, wow, they have a black guy. Uh, come on and freely give his opinion on the news in America. Do you know how we treat black people in America? I don't think, oh, wait a minute. I, maybe he's not going to say what I think he's going to say. Maybe he'll. So this is, watch how much of a defender of the establishment he turns out to be. <laughs> they ask him about Hillary Clinton and watch this. Jamal, I want to ask you about this extraordinary charge by former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. Extraordinary charge is corporate speak for baseless smear. Okay, here we go. <laughs> that one of the 2020 candidates who was later confirmed she met Tulsi Gabbard was somehow working for Russia. Why did she say that? You know, it's, it is often hard to know exactly uh, what the Clintons are up to and, and how they're thinking about things. Because, you know, they lie about anything and everything. <laughs> what may be true, though, is that she... What may be true is that Hillary Clinton's a vengeful sociopath who should be permanently ignored. Maybe that's true. <laughs> Okay. But what does he think? Thank you. That applause started in the back and stayed there. Okay. Okay, here we go. She's worried about something happening to the Democratic nominee that she feels happened to her in 2016. And she is willing to sacrifice herself to raise these questions very early to try to preempt whatever that, those attacks may be. Hillary is willing to sacrifice herself. <laughs> Hillary's sacrificing herself, you know, by smearing a sitting veteran congresswoman. That's a sacrifice that w Hillary's willing to do. That's the, the gutsiest thing she ever did was stay in her marriage. <laughs> oh. She said so. Remember how she said this kind of sacrifice by Hillary, though, to smear a veteran She's and a always congresswoman. Sacrificing. Oh, it's, it reminds me of the sacrifice Dick Cheney made when he outed Valerie Plame as a CIA. I don't, know how, he, I don't know how he gave that, how, how he really endured the, 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 the austerity that came with that. The unselfish giving of these people. And, and the long-term pain he had to suffer. Remember how Obama sacrificed himself when he had Chelsea Manning tortured? Remember that yeah, kind of sacrifice? Yeah, I, I don't know where he found the strength. <laughs> It's just, they just give, these people, they just give. Well, I mean, they're really there, like, saintly, really, like a Mother Teresa, like they're, like they are the saints who give. I wonder, Dylan, who was Hillary sacrificing herself when she called all black kids super predators? Who was she doing that? Was it, was she trying to save uh, David Duke's Twitter account? Who was she sacrificing? I mean, there were so many people that needed her to do that in yeah. order for them to move forward. She had to sacrifice herself. <laughs> I mean, it's like, what was she gonna do? She's, she's how are you going to get the budgets how are you going to get the seats how are you going to have the resources to distribute throughout the entire national democratic party system I, to ensure that your people have power if you don't identify young black people as super predators <laughs> like it's not going to happen that, those are the sacrifices that we have to make listen otherwise nothing happens <laughs> I'll get pulled out of context for sure. <laughs> Are you kidding? Like, you're you're fucked. fucked. Like, you're not even going to be working in the park anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it's bunkers for you. <laughs> Paraguay. <laughs> So watch how he ends this. Watch he ends this. Is that she is worried about something happening to the Democratic nominee that she feels happened to her in 2016. And she is willing to sacrifice herself to raise these questions very early to try to preempt whatever that, those attacks may be. By the um, way, I listen to this who, guy and I just want to kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Is that the purpose of these shows? I think so. Like, <laughs> I just want to up my dosage of solo. <laughs> it helps me remember why I don't watch cable news yeah boy it's horrible big following on the internet it's a big following among some of the more progressive voices in the party so they did not take this laying down they came for hillary clinton pretty hard 
But now we're talking about it on Face the Nation. Yes, yes, we're talking about the shameless depth that Hillary Clinton is still willing to go to on Face the Nation. Otherwise known as sacrifices. Yeah, sacrifices. We're talking about the sacrifice. Now watch it. He throws it back to the host and she says... Well, it, they both came out swinging. They both, they both came out swinging. What? No. Somebody made a horrible, bullshit, red-baiting accusation and then someone else defending themselves. That's not they both came out fucking swinging. That's like, oh boy, did you see when he went up to that guy at the bus stop and just cold cocked him? Yeah, they were both swinging, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, that guy who was playing the knockout game, that guy was walking out the street, you bam! They were both swinging, I bet. No, they weren't both swinging. No. What the fuck? <laughs> Our next live Jimmy Dore show is November 5th in Buffalo, New York, November 17th in Philadelphia, and December 27th in Honolulu. Go to JimmyDoreComedy.com for a link for all of our live shows and become a patron or a Jimmy Dore show member at JimmyDoreComedy.com slash join and uh, support the show. We give you hours of bonus content every week. Thanks for your support.